Okay, everybody let me know you can hear me. So we're going to go over the Disney here because I'm not doing anything else. I mean, it would be insane to do anything else at this point. I want to point out something the Trader Gal brought up earlier before I go, we go over the Disney. Now, I want to point out the power of the gap, and this is really important. Disney came in hard. I'm just looking at the first two minutes here. Now, stay with me, people. The market did this. Now, I didn't see this going anywhere today. I don't see this really going anywhere here. It remains to be seen. But either way, I just want you to stay with me here. Do you see this? And then you see this? The gaps are on their own. They, they're on their own. 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 And how do you know if they're good or not, the rating? The rating on this today, you know, this is on its own. Now, granted, this situation is not what I anticipated, okay? So this situation is not what I anticipated, but this what's makes this is what makes someone great at this. You you have everything figured out. You have it all situated. Okay? And then the way that you want to see it play out does not play out. Or or it sets up and then it doesn't play out the way that you want it to play out and it's unexpected. Okay? So the reality is that when that happens, then you have to think on your feet. We've talked about this before. We've talked about this before. You have to think on your feet. You will never be able to think on your feet if you don't know what you're doing. And this is where people fail. They have no clue what they're doing. Cannot think on their feet. Disney, 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 Disney. Oh, my Lanta. I, I, I get an award today for conviction in this. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Anyways, you 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 have to be able to think on your feet. And you you it's impossible if you don't know what you're doing. The only people that can think on their feet is people that can think under pressure and know what they're doing. So not only do you have to know what you're doing to think on your feet, you have to be able to think under pressure. And by golly, I got it all. I can do it. Now let me tell you on this thing today. This is an, a, not what I anticipated. However, I did look at this last night. I actually did a video last night that I sent to some very, very special people, some BSPs, where I told them that this would gap up today. In fact, on the video that I sent to people last night, which were some very important people, and it was a gutsy thing for me to do, but I told them that Disney would gap up on the earnings, and I told them that there was no chance of failure that it would gap up. I told them that I wasn't sure exactly the price that it would gap up, but I told them that it was probably going to gap up to 115. That's what I said on the video to these people that you don't know. And that's what I said. When I got up this morning and came back from the gym, the high here was 114.77 and I just was stunned. Stunned with my own ability to be able to pinpoint that number that it would cap to within 13 cents. 23 cents, whatever it is. Disney! Disney's going to go over the high. This is so insane. Anyways, here it goes. Here it goes, people. It's done. It's over. It's holding. It's working. It's going to go. Congratulations if you redid it. You can still do it here now. Stops a dollar. Anyways, I had not rated the gap then yet. Then I rated the gap. I, I didn't know where we'd open exactly the, last night, but I knew that we'd get up, and I was right. And I, and I estimated 115. But I wasn't sure how it would play out on the live day because I wasn't sure where it would actually open exactly. Like it could have gapped up to 120-ish. This is a great call. Of all the calls I made, this goes down in history. We'll all remember it. If you're in here today and you make money in this, which you will now, you will not forget this. You won't. Now, let's get back to this. Uh, over 112, it should blow. We're not there yet. Over 112, 112, 50. 112, 50. 112, 112, 50. 112, 112, 50. Depending on how we act over 112, 112, 50 will determine if we get to 115 today. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, when I rated the gap then, the gap rated good and then I wanted to do it. And then I looked at the shorts and I thought, why am I even 
thinking that I would do anything other than this. I'm going to regret not doing this, I said to myself, because we've talked about the NCO apps and we said we're going to do them and we said we're going to do them. We're going to do them full on and we're going to hold them to the targets and we've talked about it and we're going to get a million in earnings season and it is earnings season right now. And then I did look at all the shorts. It sucked up all my morning. But, and I kept wanting to make sure that I wasn't forgetting something or missing something that was like just off my radar that was really, really good as a short. But I, but I didn't. And I looked at some and... You know, I just put the one in the room that I thought was decent. And it set up, but failed, and I wouldn't have recalled it. Even though it's that one's working now, too. And was sloppy. We'll go back and go over that later. Here, stay with us, Disney. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> See how it acts over 112. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be a huge trade. If this blows over 112.50, it's going to go to 115 today. And from our entry, this is going to be a really nice trade. After what happened to us. I mean, this is this is what it's about, people. This is why you got to have conviction. I'm giving myself a round of applause here for me doing it. It's going to be over 112, and we're going to go. We're going to go, 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 go. You can still do this here if you want to. Anyways, uh, getting back to what I was saying. Uh, the So anyways, so last night, here it goes. I saw it then this morning that I read at the gap. When I saw it open, I saw the big red bar, and I... And I didn't have my hands on the keyboard then anymore. I said, wait, 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 wait. And I took them off. And then this taily thing here kind of skews the whole situation. In other words, like, let's just say this wasn't a tail. If I had seen this differently, this didn't look like this. Here, let's go back and pretend this isn't here. Like, that doesn't look so great. Am I concerned about it? No, but I'm not jumping into it. Then this happens. In the live moment, this is down. And then I'm like... But then look how it closed. This is very challenging because if you see that there without the tail, it's it's not that great. But then when you see the way it closed, you're like, wait a minute. And at one point it did something here. I don't remember what minute that was. It had an invisible tick. I don't remember the minute it did it. The invisible tick actually watched up, went up and touched here. It was somewhere in here though. Does anyone remember the moment? Anyways, it was. And so then, and, and if, you're, if you're concerned about this in here, you could take some of this off in here, you're up. I mean, you could just take out anything in here just to book something if you're concerned. I'm not going to, but you could. Anyways, so then this closed like this, and I'm like, wait a minute. I stayed with it. Okay. I, I knew where the stop had to be. I guess we could have waited a little bit longer. But this could have shot up like a rocket here. So we did it. Put the stop at the right place. This looked great. This looked great. This looked great. This looked great. Everything's great. Everything's fine. I didn't even care about the market. This isn't looking great. Let me get stopped out. Now, the right thing to do is take the stop because actually this was going to hold aggressively in the morning when it never broke 111. And actually thinking back here now, initially when I looked at this this morning, I was reading it. If it was going to hold aggressively, it really shouldn't have broken 112. So that was kind of like a sign, which it did do in this bar. And it, and it broke it by a lot. It didn't break it by a smidgen. Anyways, getting back to it, you, you use the stop because this thing could have gone like to 105 or something. So you, you take your stop. And you don't whine like a baby. This is part about being an adult and a trader and you're taking your risk. You take the stop year out. It didn't blow through it. It filled me in immediately. I'm out. Took the one loss. And if you risk more of this because of an NCOF, you're down a little bit more than one R. If you didn't, you're down one R. It was almost like I just fixed my mind then and said, wait a minute. Are you sure this is still going to work? And I just needed to be in my head a little. And, and I said yes. And then we redid it. We redid it with a better entry. And now we're in it and we're out. So if you wanted to take some off in there, it did not break over 112 yet. And, and it's 112, 112.50 for it to blow. It has triggered and held in every time frame now. The 15 minutes the next one, it's going to need that to go. The spar doesn't close for less than two minutes. It will give an ad there, but it'll be far from the price. I'm not going to take more. But I will tell you that this is fine. It's set now for the day. And this is the low of the day now in Disney. And it is a number it needs to hold. And if for some reason we get stopped out of this, which isn't going to happen, we would not retake it. It'll be down two hours. It'll stop for the day. That's not going to happen, though. It's just not. But this did take a lot of conviction. So as I was saying, this is un, 
This is not anticipated. This is thinking on your feet in real life time here, which I do every day, but this is not what I expected. This is not what I expected it to do. It did it anyways. I double, triple check myself. You take the stop and you take it because this could have gone massively down. This could have just fallen like a brick. It could have gone all the way down here. Beyond. The market is falling now in the morning a bit. This could have ran down with the market. I don't think the market is anything bearish today. I think it's neutral. I think it fell now this morning. Rally first fell this morning and it's going to pull back up itself again. So the market's just very squiggly today. No read on that. Is that the reason this did this? No. Getting back to the rationale and the logic, everybody needs to know why, 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 why. Why is this so beautiful, but the bar in the body is red today and it's 1015 and it didn't set up quickly? Not everything does set up quickly. In an ideal world, everything I do sets up quickly. I love it when they do. I want them to. I expect them to. I waited. I was patient. I did everything right. I took it again. I kept the conviction. But the fact is this did not set up quickly today. It still set up within the time frame expected. We did have to take a second trade in it. That's unusual, but it can happen. That's why you don't risk your whole lot in one trade. But is it because of the market? No. It's because Disney actually has been running up for a while, and everyone is panicking about the market. Everyone thinks the market's going to fall and collapse. The gap down today isn't helping that either, people. The drop-off in the afternoon yesterday didn't help it. I'm not surprised we gapped down today after I saw the way we closed last night. Didn't do a video on it, but I could have. We'll go over the market in a minute. But the fact is that people are in panic mode a little bit thinking that the market is done running up. That is not true. But people do think that. So if you're in Disney long and you're up, you're thinking to yourself, it got to the next target. It got through the next target. It almost got to 115. You take it out. You sell your long position and you're done. So you saw the selling in there this morning. You saw red. You saw red, you saw selling, and you saw some shorting. And I knew last night, even when I looked at it, when I did that video, I knew people were going to short this today. I talked about it in the video. I'm going to go back and listen to that again myself. I said, people are going to short this today no matter what. I said, people are going to short Disney today no matter what, no matter where it gaps to, when it gaps up. When it gaps up, I know people will short this today. I even knew they would short it at 115. I knew they would short it anywhere. I knew the traders would short Disney today no matter what. And maybe that's why I held the conviction, because I knew my enemy. I knew my enemy was traders, not institutional money. I knew my enemy was traders, not institutional money. I knew that every trader out there would be looking to short this sucker today. And I knew, except for me, and I knew that. Maybe that's what helped me stay with this trade and hold the conviction. Because I knew that the people against me were my enemies and they had no power. And so I stayed with my trade and held the conviction and I stayed with my gap rating, which held me. And it told me that this was good. Because I knew that every trader out there would be looking to short Disney to get, whether it gapped up to 120, 125, 150, 115, I knew the traders would short this today. I knew it. I said in the video, and not only did I know the traders would short this the day traders of the day, I said somebody's actually going to short this long term today. I remember saying that in the video now. I said, you know what, you're not even going to believe this, but someone's actually going to short this for the long term today. I remember saying this now in the video. I knew it. Maybe that's what helped me, but it just didn't dawn on me until now that I remember saying that. But the enemy against us today is traders. For the morning trade, we got stopped out. We're in this up again. You're in this and you're up. You're up here in this if you took this with me. And it's only on the 15 minute. Right, let's go over it. Now, stop is 110.40. I don't see any invisible ticks since I saw it. I don't know. Has anybody seen any other invisible ticks since the last one? I've only, I think I saw two in this today in total. They were both up, but they were way long, like a half an hour ago. All right, Discipline Dude got back in Disney. Just wait till over 12 then if you're concerned. The target in here is an unknown for the timing of this when it blows. In other words, I don't know if we get up to 115 today if this doesn't get going here early enough. So, you know, it could. We could still. We have to blow over the number, which we didn't do yet. And time in here is 1018. So when we get up over 112, 150, we may have to take half out. Just, we may have to do that. And from our entry, that's okay. And then ride the rest. So let's play it by ear. I think the market's done going down here, though. Not that I need that, but... Oh, I knew traders were going to short this today. I knew it.
This is why you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing to make money. You really have to because you will get tripped up thinking that something's not going to work. Today's a perfect example. But if you understand what's happening, you won't get tripped up. You still got to have the stop syndrome. No one has unlimited risk. You still take the stop when you get stopped down. And if you lose conviction, you don't retake it. And if you retake it, and it runs up, and you're up, 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 and you just want to take it off to get back break even or a little bit profit, take it. Okay? You don't want to put yourself in a position where you're in panic mode or fear mode. All right, let's look here. I'm going to put Disney here in the middle so I can see it. I just, there's no way you could have done this anywhere other than the five, the five minute. I would never have, I'd never have retaken this anywhere here, over here. This, it makes no sense to do that. If you had done this here in the five minute, there's no risk to reward left. In fact, this isn't, this isn't even one R here. So I wouldn't have called this anywhere but here. I don't think I would have called it. I didn't. I said, be off of it now. There was really a number in here and it went over it. Is this working now? Yes. Why? GAT was good. Should have held through here, especially with the market this morning. It didn't. It's falling now. This is barely one R, and I didn't call it again. If you did it, you're up. If you took this from the first trade, you made back the loss. I'm glad I didn't do this today. I just don't think it's worth it anymore, and I stopped thinking that somewhere around this point. But if you did this again a second time, you did it on your own, the proper entry was to wait here. This very well could have failed. And at the time this is happening, the market's starting to drop. Don't forget that. Way too big of stops in this without the risk to reward today in this one. What happened with the click? This again is insane looking. Fell hard like a brick. Dropped a dollar here. Fell. Never set up. Could have shorted this here. If you had, you would have been stopped out. This isn't right and isn't going anywhere. Too low volume this morning. Never even bothered rating the gap. Let's look at some of our other favorites. So, when a stock is doing what it's doing, for example, you have the Disney, and people are long the stock, all kinds of people, regular people, traders, retail people, whatever, the stock has earnings. I don't know what they said. It doesn't matter. I don't even look at it. Okay. And people are thinking that the market move up is done. Not only that, they're thinking the move up in Disney is done. They're thinking the move up in Disney is done. They're thinking the move up in the market is done. They're up money. They're up a lot of money when they get up in the morning. The stock has gapped up on the earnings, and they decide to take their profits. And I'm not saying that's a bad idea. Now, I'm not long overnight Disney. I wasn't. I'm not. But I'm saying that that's not necessarily a bad idea. But if I was long Disney for the long term, which I'm not, but if I was, I would not get out of an exit of the entire position today in the gap. I saw something very different. This is this is going to work, people. Is everybody in back in it now? Disciplined dude did not retake it. He changed his mind. He's back in it quickly, right in the room. Who's in Disney? Tell me, tell me who's in it and who's not. This is a longer play for us. We're usually way done trading by now. It's this is like so late now. It feels like midnight. But I'm telling you, it's going to go into work. And I told you this morning it was an NCOF, and it's going to go into work. Is, did anyone not redo it? Is everyone in it? Everyone right in the room if you're in Disney or not. It's buying. We just saw it. It's happening. Ay, ay, ay. Galliot's in it. Shower Singer's in it. Brian Dummy's back in it. Trader Gal's in it. Line 38's is in it. And I don't know what this looks like when it closes today. We'll have a taily thing. It'll have a taily, 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 taily guy. I don't know if the body of the head will be green or red. It depends on the time when this hits over the number, which is 112, 11250 to get up over the high. J's in it. Red is not in it. Did you even take it in the morning, red, or you didn't?
you 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 took it using an option. Oh, all right, that's fine. Did that make sense to do today? It's really only like the last gosh, six to twelve months that I've realized how important it is to know who's against you in, in your trades. And that definitely helps my conviction because I have a massive perspective of what other traders are looking for. Just a huge perspective because I know so many people in the industry and I really know what they're doing. And that's why I really actually can't have anyone probably else in here with me running the room that disagrees with me about how I look at something. Trader Gal says, you know people trade to close those gaps, which we know doesn't work consistently, but sometimes people try to trade them that way, yes. But it closed, so you don't know what happens after that. <laughs> You're funny. It's not the right way to make money trading gaps. Does it sometimes work? Yes. Does it consistently work? No. Or everyone would do it. If I wanted to really get nuts, I'd take more this year. How many nuts do I want to get? All right, I'm going to take more of Disney over 50. Timing's good in here. I'm taking more of Disney over 50. Over 50, I'm taking it. More. I'm already in it. It's not that far from my original price. Here, there, 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 there. Stop has to be the same. 110.40. 110.40. I just took more Disney. All right. Here. May as well do it. 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 Have to do it. Did it? Be in. This is aggressive. I deserve every penny of this today and more. All right. Rick, you asked me that yesterday. Didn't you hear me respond? There is no one that can see everyone's talking but me. I did respond to you yesterday. I'm the only one that can see everyone's comments. I'm the only one that will ever be able to see everyone's comments. I'm the only one that runs the room. I repeat the question before I answer it. You won't ever see anyone else chatting. And there's no reason for you to. I repeat the question and then I say it. I did answer that yesterday. I thought you heard me. This has got to hit in the 15 minute bar between now and 11 o'clock, or it's not going to get over the high of the day. So it's got 30 minutes which is a long, long, long time. But it does have 30 minutes. 30 minutes to hit up over 112, 112.50 hard, or it will not get over 113 today. So let's just see what happens. All right, let's, let's, just, let's just see what else is out. There's no more econ out today. Let's see what's out tonight. I'm not even going to say we're going to get something easy. I'm just going to jinx ourselves here if I do that. Screw the easy ones. Make it hard every day, market. Bring it. I'm making money anyways. Easy, hard, I'm doing it. And I'm backing off when there's nothing good. There's no stopping me now. 2015 is in stone for me. It's a life of its own, my success. All right, EA. EA I'm looking at next. Fossil. These are all tonight. Here, Disney. Woo! Groupon. 
Oh, there is some stuff. HLF, HLF. Eight other ones. Vivas is tonight. WTW? Zoo. Okay, here's some good ones. Here, let's look at these ones for tonight. WTW? Ooh, WTW? This is tonight. Oh, I like it. WTW is in a top watch list for tonight. Watch it. Zoo. Mm, zoo could go either way. Groupon. Man, I forgot about this thing. I haven't looked at this in ages. Groupon I like, but I don't know how it gaps. HLF. This is all tonight. This I like too, but it might be really hard, and this is a wild whippy thing. Hmm, I don't know if I want to contend with that. Uh, fossil. Fossil probably gaps up. The A. This could go either way too. The EA. Let's look at the Vivas. Well, we might get a couple of things, but they got to be good. We might get a couple of things, but they really have to be good. EA could go either way. Fossil I think gaps up. HLF probably gaps down, but it could be a crap. And Vivas is worth nothing anymore. I haven't seen this in so long either. Some of these things I haven't looked at in so long, I forgot what they even look like. All right, here you go. Tonight's watches. And there will be something tonight. There'll be something every day. But I can't promise it's going to be easy. I can't promise that at all. And today I thought it would be easy. But you know what? It's going to end up being all fine. We just had to take it twice. The, the part that everybody thought was tough and where you lost the conviction was the hard drop down. Second bar closes the tail, though. Market didn't have anything to do with it. I knew people would sell out of this in the gap no matter where it got. Whether it was, it could have gapped 100 points away and somebody would have sold it. It could have gapped 50 cents above the close of yesterday and somebody would have sold it. I knew it was going to happen. And you know what? That didn't catch my mind in the moment because I was reading it live and just trading and doing it. But something inside of me, something inside of me knew that. So I went with it. Plus, I was reading the live action, but inside of me, I knew it because I said it last night. And I, and I intellectually knew it. And this is why you have to have all the pieces of the parts of you working together. Your mind, your body, everything, the whole connection, all of it, you've got to have it working together. And it just has to work together like effortlessly because that's how you get it all. And here's a 15 minute and it's triggering before 11 o'clock. You could buy more of this if you want to. I already took more. I'm not adding any more over 70, but you could. Over 70, you could take more stop sales. If you want 1040, you would be taking more risk if you do it. You can't lower the stop and don't be too tight with this. It's been wild all day, although it's finally starting to situate itself. But you've got tail and tail and tail and tail and 100,000 tails. You know what? If we went long every day, which I don't, and I'm really glad that I don't, but if I did, you know what? We would have this all the time. Do you have any idea how many tailing things we'd happen all the time if we went long every day? It's really, I'm glad we don't do that, but we, we could. We still make money, but it's just so much easier when they just don't do that crap. Not yet. You got to get up here. Ten more pennies. Let's look at the market. So, I mean, again, I don't think the market goes anywhere today. I don't think the market goes anywhere today. I said this morning, some of you thought it was going to rally. Some of you it was going to drop. Some of you probably still think it's going to drop. I just don't think it goes anywhere today. You're not going to get this hard push into itself until you get over the number. And you know what? People don't know what to do with this now. People have no idea what to do with this now that shorted it this morning. But if you shorted this morning, you'd be all out. But here's the 15 minute. But why would you have shorted this? Again, I knew people would, though. I knew it. All right, Trader Gal just put something in a room. I, I didn't, this isn't from me. This is from Trader Gal. I'm just copying and pasting it wherever she found it. 
if that helps your conviction. <laughs> Obviously, I'm trading without that. It's conviction all the way today, baby. Woo. New stream, okay. I'm telling you right now, if this goes up to 115, let me just figure something. If I was saying this whole thing to 115, let, let me just, I don't even know if I'm doing that, but let me just look at something here. Just hold on a minute. I just don't like to lose. There are times when you have to take a loss in a trade. I get that. It's true. You do. And when you're brand new, you have to accept that. But at this point in my career, I just don't like to lose. And quite frankly, I don't feel like I never need to lose again. Now, that doesn't mean that there are days that I won't just stop and say, it didn't work out. I'm taking the loss. I'm stopping the one gap I liked. I took it. It set up. It didn't work. I could have done that with ACRX today. If I had traded that alone and taken the stop, I would probably have stopped. I never would have redone it. I would have taken the day. I would have taken the loss. I would have stopped for the day. I would have lost one hour. It wouldn't have been a big deal. It's, it, it's not fun to lose ever, but I would have done it. But I feel like at this point in my career, I really, really shouldn't ever have to lose ever. And every day that I feel like I don't want to, I could come back. Some days I just say, this is too much work and I don't want to be bothered. But in something like this today, there's just no reason for it. And so we're not going to. And actually, you could take Disney out some of this soon. I mean, it is getting late if you have to get going. If you have to get out of some of this in here between now and 11 o'clock because you got to go, I mean, you have to. So it's up to you. But I'm just saying, I'm not really calling here exits for this. Because the target is really, the next target is 112, 112, 25, 112, 50. Over 112, 50, it blows up to 113. And then over 113, I'll just go right up straight to 115. So if you've got to get going and you have to be somewhere today, if you have to do something or whatever, it's the timing here is late. It's 1030. If you have to go off to work or go to bed or go to the gym, you could piecemeal out of some of this. Okay, you're up from the trade. Whether you took it over 113, 120, wherever you could just take a little bit out, whatever you need to do. But to really get paid on this for the R's, you gotta, you got to hold the trade. So I do think we got a good one tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe we'll get an NCOF tomorrow. I'm not telling you for sure that. Now I'm going to show you something here that I talked about last night. Now let's go back to this here. Look at that. You see that there? Does everyone see this right here? That's Disney. Look at this. It's in your brain. Tell me you see it. Is this in your brain? Am I talking to myself? All right. This is 
is the market. It's a SPY. This is going to look like Disney. And I don't know when, but I saw it last night too. As I was talking, and I was talking about Disney, what I was going to do, I saw that when I was talking in the video I did last night for some people. So this is the SPY. This is the overall general market. It's going to look like this. This is, this is where we're headed. You can get a little perspective here. There you go. That's what the market's going to look like. I, I don't know how long it takes to look like that, but it's nowhere near done. When I saw that, I was like, oh! it was a great example of something that I was trying to say. Okay. That's what the market's going to look like. It's in your brain. Good. Remember it. Uh, you just looked at the Econ Minutes that says tomorrow Yellen Fed Chair is speaking at 9.15 a.m. Maybe that's what the market is waiting for. Maybe. Maybe. It's waiting to do what? Go higher, you mean? It's moving today. It's not stagnant. Jaguar paw. This isn't doing nothing. Do you mean waiting to make a new high? It's just completely whatever. It's just sitting there. I mean, it is trading today. There's volume. There's activity in the market. So maybe it's waiting to make a new high till that, if that's what you mean. All right, any questions on anything about today? So let's just go back. Market is sideways today neutral. That isn't going to show any type of activity either up or down, meaning it's not going to crash the floor of the earth. I don't think it rallies today now that since it's 1045 and where we're at. Jaguar Paul pointed out there's something going on tomorrow, some econ that's significant. Maybe we'll wait to see some movement with there. I don't know what we got tomorrow morning at all. I did not do ACRX. I'm really glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't because the first trade got stopped out. You could have retaken the second one. I didn't see the risk to reward in it, and I don't see the target. Market is somewhat red now in the morning, though, which kind of helped the ACRX. There were no other good shorts. I don't even see any continuation gaps, actually. There was a ton of gaps this morning. There were so many gaps this morning, I'm almost shocked that we didn't find more things were good. But I did narrow it down in the ones that I liked. When I looked at Disney last night, I knew it would gap up. No chance of failure that it would, and it did. My approximate price of the gap up was 115, which is what happened. It got within 23 cents of that number this morning in the pre-market. The thing that I saw that would happen was the traders would short it. And they, 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 people, it sold itself into the gap, and then it got shorted. So the continuation followed through to break us, and we took the first trade and got stopped out. Because after the sell-off of the hard red bar that happened into the open, which was selling, then the, the stock got shorted. So then trader shorted it. So that's what broke us and broke the number of 111. And then we broke out of our trade and we got the stock. Do you understand? Because then it got shorted. People might have been short that pre-market, but I don't really think so. Uh, they might have. Yeah. I think it really happened where we got broken out of it. Anyways, it reset up. I reset up, I recheck the numbers, we're at the secondary level of the number now, but this is it, and it can't break through that. We are in the trade and we're up, and you're positive in the trade if you took it with me. The stop must be 110.40, and that cannot be broken. That had to be the low of the day in this, and if it breaks it, this won't hold it all today. And it'll fall. It'll fall gosh knows where with the market probably, but I don't see that happening or it wouldn't be in it. Um, I did the ad over 150, kept the stop the same. If you did that, then you have more than one hour risk in this. You better know what you're doing with your risk. You better know what you're doing with your risk no matter what you're doing. If you've been with me for a year or six months or however long you've been with me, you better know what you're doing with your money. And those of you that are doing really, 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 really well do. Those of you that don't have to work on that. And you really need to work on that now. You mean to make new highs in the market. Okay. All righty. Yes, that's what I thought you meant. Let's look at the longer, bigger time frame in here in the 60. Fine. Okay, fine.
I was aggressive today in this in the sense that I took it as far as the hard, hard drop down, which it was. I took it a second time, which is not necessarily aggressive, but kind of. And then I did the ad. I, I, everything I did in this today was aggressive. <laughs> it's going to pay off, though. We, we, we have to be aggressive in the ones that I see no chance of failure. We must. We will. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? Boy, if you if you are if you are if you make money in this today with me and did it, and if you are new to me, or even if you're not, and you make money in this today with me, you're really gonna be drinking the Kool-Aid of Melissa Armo. <laughs> because this was not easy today. This is not easy today. And if you did this again with me and did everything I say and make money in this today, you're gonna be like, I wouldn't have done that without Melissa. <laughs> Even though there's many things you could do without me, many things and everything I taught you, but I highly doubt that any one of you would have done this today without me doing this a second time. And if you all end up making money in this today and good money in this today, you're going to really be having the conviction in me. <laughs> and I will expect a testimonial from everyone. <laughs> without your conviction? Well, this I don't normally do longs, but obviously I do sometimes. Obviously, sometimes I do. $111.16? That's a nice number in there. One, one, one. One, 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 one. A lot of ones. 373 is far profit so far. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, let's tally it up. Where's the numbers? I want to see where everybody's up in this. In this trade. Don't look at the other one. I want to know this trade, what you're up in. 111.30, another 111.30. 16.71, woo! 16.71, 115, 360. There's some good numbers here. Let it get it over 112, you have to get it up. I hope that I'm not in this all day, though. I really wasn't planning on being in this till 4 o'clock Eastern time. But I'm so determined now that I guess I will be. It's 1047. I guess I will be. I really wasn't planning on it. But at this point now, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes! And I actually think that there's a possibility that the market could recover in the afternoon because this... This situation of the redness here looks like it's not going to go anywhere. So I wouldn't be surprised if the market held and held bullishly in the afternoon. I just wouldn't be surprised with that whatsoever. In fact, that could be the low in the day in the market. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not commanding that right now. I'm not saying that definitively. I'm not saying that definitively at all, but it could be. It might be. It could be. Whatever happened with this. You almost would have had to just close your eyes and press the button on this and not even cared about the risk. But I wouldn't have done that. I just wouldn't have done it because of the size of the snailiness of it. And I expected more of this today. And even I wrote in the room in the morning or I said it. I said, I, this, could, this could move today, but it's not. I really thought that it could have the potential to move today, but it, it's not. I mean, this could have gone to 250, and that, that's just not going to even happen. Not going to happen. And actually, this is a good overnight. So, you know, Disney. Overnight meaning carry through, follow through tomorrow. Carry through, follow through tomorrow and Disney. Carry through, follow through, continuation gap tomorrow and Disney, no matter what it does today. 
I don't know about this week. Oh, this week? You're saying 115 this week? Yes. 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 I'd like this to happen, though, today, Jaguar Par. <laughs> you can even add over 112. Can't move the stop. Can't move the stop. Can't move the stop again. You're taking more risk. Get nuts if you want, if you've got the buying power. All right, any questions from anyone about anything? Wild morning. You always learn something new. What did I learn new today? Stay with the trade, have the conviction. I already do that, so that's nothing new. What did I learn new today? This, which has still remaining to be seen. But if all plays out exactly as I originally saw today, which it actually did in the gap, did in the numbers, did in the gap, did in the numbers for the gap, even though the setup did it, the overall picture that I had of the gap, what it would do is still playing out, is intact, or I wouldn't be this long. If that plays out the way that I, I saw it in my mind happening last night, today, which so far it is doing, did in the gap, did in the numbers of the gap, doing even here still now. If that happens, this will be a learning experience for me here with this did. So then I did learn something new today. Jaguar Pa, I'm confused. Are you you're in an option in this? You're not in this as an equity trade. You lost me now in the Disney. What are you doing with this? You're long Disney as an option. So you're not long Disney as an equity trade. Okie dokie. That's fine. All right, I expect we'll get something good tomorrow. Whether it's easier or not, I can't even say. In fact, let's, here, my girlfriend and I, we were joking about something. This is really funny now. And this is, I don't even know why I forgot to tell you this until now. I, my girlfriend and I were joking, this was a couple of weeks ago, about something, it's a friend I've known for a long, 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 long time. I don't know, she was asking about trading or something, and I was saying that, I really know what things are going to do. But then if I don't know what it's going to do, I said, I just don't touch it because I said it's really like a crapshoot if you don't know. And so then I don't want to risk any money. And I was explaining this to her. And she laughed and joked and said, it. yeah, it's kind of like you may as well just ask the Magic 8-Ball. We were busting. And years ago, I used to have a Magic 8-Ball when I was little. I said, you know what? I'm going to buy one of these. And will, will, will you do it? Use it in the room. So I, I got this. I forgot to even use this. <laughs> but I just thought it was right now. So let's ask, okay, are we going to get an easy, bearish, beautiful, fabulous gap to play tomorrow on Wednesday? I'm asking the magic people right now. Let's see what it says. Because that's all that we can do. It's not tomorrow yet. Outlook good. Woo! Okay. All right. We can all think optim optimistically. <laughs> There, I'll look good for an easy bearish gap tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my Atlanta. <laughs> Jagger Paws laughing. Am I the only one that ever used the Magic Eight Balls, little girl? I can't be. But we will use that again. I'm the only one? All right. <laughs> I surf dog did too, okay. All right, anyone, <laughs> anyone have any questions about anything? If not, I'm gonna let everybody go today. You're on your own in Disney the rest of the day. Over 112, 112.25, 112.50, 113, 115 dream target. And if it doesn't get there today, it will get there this week. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gap. Tough going here today, and it's wild. It's a it's a hundred dollar price point stock. I mean, you can't even like not understand that it is. But did this set up the way that I thought it would today? No, no, it didn't. My surprise market got down today. No, is the market bearish? No. Will the market recover this afternoon? 50-50, but probably not going to affect Disney though. Once Disney gets over the number, it should go. 
I will be watching for 112.50 and 113 to see how it acts, to get out of half or more. I'm not sure if I'll hold this over the high. It depends on the time of the day and where it hits in there. 12 o'clock is a big time frame. And 11 o'clock too, but this looks good. Disney is actually not doing anything wrong, and it really never did in the gap. And it'll be very interesting to see what happens today, how this actually plays out from what happened there, which we talked about in the morning. I'm proud of those of you that retook it with me. You're up money here now in this, wherever you are, however much you have of it. And, and I think that we got to just stick with the ones that are really, really good. I'm glad I didn't do two things today. I might not have redone this if I did. I'm up in this second trade now, and I didn't do the ACRX, and I'm glad. Although I do love to short. I do think we got a good bearish short tomorrow. But Disney was the best gap to do today. Sometimes the setups don't work exactly the way that you plan, but you absolutely have to know how to read them. And it's a pain in the butt to have to take two trades in something. But every once in a while, you got to do it. No, because what happens is I get too tired. I get too tired. I don't want to keep talking. I don't want to be in here quiet. Then I want to have the room open. I feel like I have to talk. And I don't want to start calling other trades. And, and, and to be honest with you, it, it is it's tiring for me to trade in the afternoon. I, 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 why do you think I don't do it? It is, it's exhausting for me. And, and then if I have to talk and trade, I, I don't want to make a mistake in a position I'm in live in the afternoon because I'm tired. It's, it's, it's a long day for me to trade in the afternoon, even alone. And I don't do it. I just, I might do it twice a month. I don't like to do it. And I did do it in the last month. And I really don't want to do it this month. And I don't feel like I should have to do it this month. And I'm not even saying I'm doing that today. If this thing runs up to the number the next hour, I may be all out. I mean, it's, it's, it is 11 o'clock, but here, this is gonna, this is gonna work. I'm so proud of you people who are doing it with me. <laughs> well, we couldn't have gotten a better price than we did either. I mean, we couldn't have gotten a better price than we did either. Boy, well, why was this is aggressive. I added more already back down at 111.15, but you could add over 112 if you didn't. The stop must be the same. This is it. It's set now. It's set, 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 set. Man, we really all get medals today for this. You won't forget this trade in here, though. I'll tell you that much, whatever you make. Although you may not want to do a long ever again. Or you may want to love doing longs now. I don't know. It depends on what you make. It depends how much money you end up on the day here. <laughs> you may be like, that's it. I'm doing longs every day. <laughs> here it goes. Over 112. Time of the day is good. What did I say? 30 minutes. I said 11 o'clock. Three minutes here. 20 cents. It's like nothing. It's a sneeze ball. This was not easy, though. But keep in mind, it had nothing to do with the market. It had everything to do with the gap. You must have the conviction in the gap. It's the quality of the gap. And don't get tricked out of it. This is what happens to traders. People went short this and long this and short this and long this. Some people went short it and then they went long it. That's insane. Disney is a buy today. It was nothing else. And I'm so glad that I remembered what I saw last night, that traders would short this. We may be the only room that even bought this in the morning. It still was the right thing to do. You screw up your mind when you train something in opposite directions, the same stock on the live day, and particularly in a gap. It actually is so screwed up that when people do that, I say to myself, that person will never, 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 never make a lot of money in the market. They never will. Anyone that does a gap or any trade at all in the same, in two directions on the live day will never be successful for long term in the market as a trader. Never. So that's why I'm teaching you, don't do it. All right, good luck today, everyone. Good luck. Magic 8-Ball set out, look good. For tomorrow, for an easy. Told you the ones to watch tonight. All right, I really got a hold of this today to maximize myself, but I did do the ad. I took more risk in doing so. It was an NCOF, so I'm allowed to. All right, you're welcome. Have a good day, everyone. I'll do a video on this sometime when I'm never done. All right, see you tomorrow.